Hello and welcome to Ivan Beats. Nah, but for real, um, today I'm gonna show ya how I made this melody right here. You already heard it in the beginning. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this like very short and straight to the point. But before we start, um, one small disclaimer. Uh, I, if you want loops like that, I got some loop kits available. Um, like a loop kit with 50 loops, another one with more than 30 loops. So um, yeah, I can go and, and get that. Uh, I'ma have, I'ma have it pop up in the top right corner now. So uh, you yeah, can go and check that out. But uh, now let's not waste any more time and um, get right into it. So this right here is everything I got for the loop. Uh, don't worry about the audio clips because uh, I can't play like the actual. Um, piano roll and, and VSTs and everything because my laptop would just crash. So right here for the for the loop, we got um, a mallet and for the um, other sections of the loop, I actually um, I actually pitched it down an octave and I also pitched it up an octave. Just to just to give it more variation, basically. If you want more variation in those melodies, you can always like pitch them down an octave or pitch them up an octave. I layered this melod with um, this arp right here. Yeah, and uh, I did not pitch it up and down and everything. So this is just the arp straight through. I layered it with another arp. And then finally I added the, the lead. And the bass to round it off. Okay, but now let's get into the actual melody. This is uh, the melody, what it looks like. So for these Uzi melodies, you actually have like two options, or uh, two ways of doing those. Uh, the first one is to have like these arpeggiated plug melodies. And the second one would be um, like these rhythmic chord progressions um, kind of stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the first way of doing it, the arpeggiated plug melodies. If you want me to cover the second, uh, way of doing it as well. Let me know down in the comments and I'm gonna I'm make a video to that as well. But now for the first way of doing it, these arpeggiated plug melodies. Basically you wanna think of your melody as layers. So right here you can see, or I'm gonna break it down for you, um, we got the first layer, the second layer and the third layer. Each layer basically is a, an own melody. So you start off with the first, the bass layer, you layer another, uh, another melody on top of that and a third one on top of that. I usually do three layers and um, that's like what works best for me. Um, you can do more, you can do like less as well, um, but three is like pretty much um, what I always do. So for the first layer, you can see it's very repetitive. Um, basically, what I started out with was um, these the, the root note A. This whole melody is in the scale of A minor, so um, the A minor chord would be A C E. Um, I started out with uh, the root note, as I said, and then I layered the chord on top of it, but I deleted the C. We'll get to the C later. Um, for now, we'll just have the, the first note, like the root note of the chord and um, this top note of the chord um, play. And then it goes into the uh, C major chord right here. Um, right here I actually played the whole chord. So you got your C, your E and your G. Um, and as you can see, it's like the same same rhythm as in the first chord. So I just added like a transition note. So at the end, so it transitions better uh, for the loop. 
because this just repeats itself. This is like the base layer. And then as I said, um, we're gonna get into the second layer. You just, um, basically you just play around um, what sounds good and then you layer that on top of your base layer. So for the second layer right here, I'm gonna copy this over real quick. Um, I started out the second layer with the C that we skipped earlier. So um, like the bass would be, in the bass layer I had A, C, E as the chords, but I skipped this. Uh, I mean, I deleted it and pitched it up um, to start the second layer. That's something I actually do often. Like you just pitch up the, the middle note of the chord um, and then you have your starting point for your second layer. For the second layer, I basically just uh, just clicked in notes that fit um, the, the bass layer, that sounded good with the bass layer, um, and then it just repeats itself um, over and over again. And now for the third layer of melody, um, we got this part right here, which also repeats itself. Right here, right here, right here, right here. So um, basically, there's no there's no formula or anything um, on how to come up with these me melodies. I really just um, start out with these this bass layer, and then you add your second layer um, based off what sounds good with together with the bass layer, and then you add some some notes on top of that um, that fit the the rest of it. Yeah, that's like your three layers of, uh, of the melody. Your first layer, second layer, third layer. That's how you do these uh, arpeggiated plug melodies, really. And then you can also like give the, give the whole thing more bounce um, by like randomizing the velocities down here. I'm gonna actually pull up uh, another MIDI to show you again. So this is another MIDI that I made like yesterday. And uh, you can like see very well um, I have my bass layer right here. It's like a basic melody again. And then you have your second layer right here and your third layer on top of that. And again, it's very repetitive. Right here, I also added some bass notes. Um, this is like pretty much optional. You don't have to do that. Um, in this specific MIDI, uh, I went for it because um, I think it sounded good. So uh, that's like also something like if it sounds good, you should do it. Uh, just try different things really and this is also another MIDI that I made um, you have your your base base layer right here um, your second layer and your third layer again this repeats itself right here right here right here and then um, this repeats itself right here, right here, right here. And then again, this repeats itself right here, right here. And I had have the bass notes again. So uh, first layer, second layer, third layer. You might have noticed that I make the melodies only um, like this long. And then I just repeat it over and over again. Um, yeah, that's something I like to do. Uh, sometimes I like to add some variation in the end so it does not get too boring, but um, often I also like, just leave it as it is. But yeah, let's go back to the initial melody. So here we are back in the actual melody and I just uh, layered this melody with this arpeggiator. It's like the same melody. I just copy and paste it onto this uh, arpeggiator and then I pasted the same melody onto another arpeggiator. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all the, the presets real quick because I know y'all wanna see that. So this is the Mallet Toy Cup preset uh, from, from a preset bank called Echo Sound Works Sphere. I don't really know it. Uh, then we got uh, the first arpeggiator is from this, uh, this preset bank from eTrue from Internet Money. Really good preset bank in my opinion. And then 
your second ARP is from this preset bank right here. Now onto the probably most important thing of the melody, the lead. For these uh, like Uzi virtual hyperpop melodies, your lead is always very important. Just get stuck in their head and everything, so you gotta have your lead right. So the way how I do my leads um, is the following. I always make my bass melody like this, my initial melody. I always make that. I always do that in in A minor because A minor only uses white keys on the piano. Um, so when you want to come up with like lead melodies, all you gotta do is press white keys. Really, that's that's how that's what I do. Um, I, I gotta say, like I am not a piano player or anything. Like I literally just experiment uh, with the white keys. So I got my MIDI keyboard right here. I can't play it right now because I only have two USB ports and everything. So um, yeah, <laughs> but I got my MIDI keyboard, and then what I do to come up with these lead melodies, all I do is. I let the, the the melody play, like I let uh, everything play without the lead, obviously. Um, so that would be like I just let everything play. And since this is in a scale of A minor, I can just press the white keys uh, and see what sounds good. And in this case, I came up with uh, with this. Once you got your idea and you know what you want to do for, for your lead, you can either press um, this button right here and go to notes and automation and then uh, play it again. But if you can't remember what you just played, but it was fire, go up here, tools, dump score lock to select a pattern and then you um, just uh, press last two minutes basically and it will appear in the piano roll, which is great. And then, as I said, I'm not a piano player. so what happens is um, my melodies like what i record it will not look like this it will look like basically it will look like this right and that is not good because it's not on beat and everything so what you do you just uh, mark this and press Control q which quantizes it and this is still not how it's supposed to be so you can just you can really just drag it around and um, until it fits. So a quick little recap on how I do my leads. I just let everything play um, and then I press around on the on the white keys on my MIDI keyboard and uh, see what sounds good really. Um, yeah and then I then I just record the idea that I that I have and um, adjust everything in the piano roll afterwards. Yeah, and then finally, I just added a bass. Nothing special. I just uh, took the root notes right here from the uh, from the um, bass melody and copied them over here and let it play the bass. For effects, um, I don't have anything special on the on the actual sounds. Like I um, only have a reverb and a EQ to cut out the bass. And uh, that's like all I have on every single sound. You can see down here reverb EQ, and it's it's the same EQ uh, and like same reverb on every single sound. Right here, this is the second ARP. I got a fruity stereo enhancer on it. When you listen to it, you can hear that it only plays like on the side rather than in the middle. So in order to get that fruity stereo enhancer um, and select the preset for strings. So that way you can get um, a really ambient uh, spacey sound to, to make it sound more full. So once you got everything, um, I just rendered it out and pitched it down uh, to semitones. That's it.
right here, I just have the stems playing uh, at the end of my loop. So the producer um, can do whatever they want with the loop and they don't have to stick what I got going on over here. Basically that's uh, how I made this loop. Um, subscribe, like, comment, you know, all this YouTube stuff, I don't have to tell you, but it would actually be, uh, it would actually be a huge support, so uh, consider doing that. Um, and uh, excuse me if I made any mistakes, uh, my English is not the best, like, English is not my native language, I just learned it in school, so if I made any mistakes, um, really sorry for that, but I did my best, uh, I mean I tried my best.